Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM test engineer here at the ARRL laboratory. Martin Ewing, AA6E, did a very good comprehensive job of writing that article. There's a lot in there, isn't there? <laughs> well, let's take a look at the Flex Radio 6700. Well, here it is, the front panel of the Flex Radio 6700. First off, it comes with this FHM1 hand microphone with up-down buttons and fast tuning. Metal microphone jack, quarter inch headphone jack here. We're plugged into a straight key right now. This display is used for diagnostics. It also reminds you that you're operating the Flex 6700. And uh, these buttons are used for diagnostic purposes. Power button's over here, and this LED is multicolor. It tells you when different processes are going on, whether software is loading or if it's not ready, or if I'm going to transmit, it lights up red. Now let's take a look at the back side. Here's the rear panel of the Flex Radio 6700. DC power pole for power input here, Ethernet connections, USB connections, accessory jacks, ins and outs for the receivers, 10 megahertz reference in, I like that, transverter jack, uh, ins and outs for receive antennas, and of course antenna 1, antenna 2, inputs here, and of course the ground connection. Your Flex Radio experience starts with your PC by clicking on Smart SDR. I already have that running, so I'll just click on it. And here we have just one receiver going. This is your pan adapter all the way across the screen. We're looking at the 40 meter amateur band. Basic controls are right on this panel here. I can change the mode, CW, AM. I can uh, choose um, synchronous AM even. But back to CW, we're in the CW part of the band. Over here, if I want to change bands, all right, over here, click on that. I can go over to the six meter band. See if anything's happening there. I can click over here on which antenna to use, antenna one or antenna two. We'll stay on antenna one. And we have the tunable tracking notch filter. So if there's a nasty heterodyne that's annoying you, you can zero in on that, click, this button and it'll automatically take it away even if you tune up and down the band. So let's go over to the right side of the screen and look at some of the panels that we have here. We have the power and SWR meter which is brought up by this button here. If I click on it, it goes away. Click on it, it comes back again. RF power output, SWR, your overall power output is here. The other controls that you're familiar with and here's your receiver control panel that you can adjust the filter, shift the IF up and down. You can change the filter bandwidth, change your tuning steps here, 1 kilohertz steps, 2K, etc., etc. There's a lot going on in this screen, but wait, <laughs> wait till you see what else it does. I can keep opening up receiver after receiver after receiver. There's two. Here comes another one. Yep, yeah. uh, amazing. And uh, I can open up another one, and here's another one. I can open up all the way up to eight different receiver panels on the Flex Radio 6700. I know many of you would like to operate a radio with a knob on it. Well, Flex offers just that. Here's the optional Flex Control. Tune around like that. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the AR Laboratory.